Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offman here with Master School Dances. And today I want to talk to you about a product that I've been using the entire homecoming season for us, and that is the ADJ Fog Fury Phase. So first of all, what is the Fog Fury Phase? Well, it's of course in the line of the, it's part of the line of the Fog Fury series, but as the phase name suggests, it uses fog fluid to create a haze effect. Now, when I first heard of this particular machine, I was a little bit skeptical. I like true haze. Now, what do I like about haze or fog? Well, it's not thick. It hangs in the air for quite some time, and it doesn't smell. It doesn't have that you know terrible like aftertaste when you're walking through. But most importantly, importantly, it makes the light shows, the lasers, everything look good consistently from the front of the dance floor to the back of the dance floor. Fire alarms and all that, look, whether you use fog or haze, you can set off fire alarms, and that's a video for a different topic. So we're gonna take that question, does this set off fire alarms? We're gonna throw it away, because that's irrelevant. Because if it's a particle, and if it's some sort of smoke, it can set off alarms, so we're gonna skip that part. But can it do the other things that I want it to? Most importantly, how much fluid does this thing go through after a few events? Am I gonna be spending 25 to 40 dollars refilling uh, fluid after every event? Well, let's check out some of the features and then I'll tell you about my experience with them. The Fog Fury Phase comes stock with the FF23TC remote. This remote is going to allow me to set up a timer, to do a manual control, or to do a continuous level control, which is really nice, of course. It's a 25 foot cord and connects with quarter inch. One of the cool things about the Fog Fury Phase is that it allows you to uh, direct where you want the output to go. So if I'm up on a stage and I wanted to go straight up, maybe towards hitting my lasers, then obviously I can leave it like this. But if I have it a little bit higher and I wanted to shoot straight out, I'm just gonna open it and have a nice full output coming out of it. To move it up and down, you just gotta squeeze in and then it locks in nicely. The Fog Fury Face was designed to be pretty much as foolproof as a fog or hazer can get. You basically turn it on, you plug in your remote, and you're good to go. One of the things that I absolutely hated about fog machines was having to quickly refill because these would drink fluid. In general, fog machines would drink fluid unlike a typical haze machine. What I noticed is that the phaser does use a lot less fluid. An entire bottle basically lasted me for two and a half events of continuous output. It's about eight hours and that's perfect, especially for the price of the premium fog fluid. It's an absolute bargain. But what's really difficult is if I have this on the other side, maybe towards the back of the gym or in the corner, there's really no way for me to be able to easily tell because I might, you know, I usually leave this on continuous, let it run, and then I got to figure out, okay, when is it out of fluid? Now, I don't have to worry about the pump burning because the uh, thermal sensing unit that this has, the technology and all the magic elves in here, will basically make sure that the pump goes off when it's out of fluid. So I don't have to worry about the pump burning off. But what's really cool is, it has a little light that tells me if it's out of fluid or not, but it's not traditionally in the back of the fog machine where it's most of them have them in there. It has it inside the bottle, or underneath the bottle rather. So this is gonna light up red when I first plug it in. It's gonna flash for a second to let me know that it's warming up. About five minutes or so and it's ready to roll and I push it and it just starts coming out. And when it's out, this now will go red. So it lights up from green to red. So I don't really have to sit there and look hard to be able to tell if this needs fluid or not. Honestly, this is a feature that I wish every machine out there had, whether it was snow machines or bubble machines or even my hazers. It is kind of nice to have this whole thing light up in just a quick glance and I know if there's fluid in there or if I need to add more fluid. Another great thing about the Fog Fury Face is the price. And that was one of the reasons that I bought it is so I figure, okay, you want, if this doesn't fit my needs, well, you know, not a lot of money out the bucket and it makes a great backup machine. And that's what I originally got these for, were backup machines. And I gotta say that after a few events of using this, I'm pleasantly surprised. So here's what I noticed. One, the fluid that it comes with is, I use the F4L, which is basically the uh, four liter, the one gallon bottle of the ADJ premium fog fluid. Have I tried other fog fluids? No, am I going to? Absolutely not. Look, I don't care what brand of machine that you buy, when it says to use a certain type of fluid, you use that certain type of fluid. But I'm glad that I, you know, that it has that particular fluid with it because it did hang in the air for a while. It didn't have that nasty smell that some traditional fog machines may have. And most importantly, it hung, again, it hung in the air for quite some time. And even though it's still, you know, like my other machine may use a lot less fluid than this one, 
the fluid on the other machine is close to $120 a bottle. Now, this one is a lot less for the gallon. So I can buy, you know, let's say six or eight uh, ga gallons. And I know this machine is going to do an entire round of homecomings with no problem. So I just start off with one gallon of fluid, poured it in, and that entire gallon lasted me the test events that I did here where I was trying out new lights, programming. It ran a four hour homecoming. It ran then for a three hour event and then another four hour homecoming with a couple hour bursts here and there. So I'm using very, very little of it. Now, the only complaint that I have is that on the manual mode or the continuous, I don't really get a chance to shoot, choose how much fluid uh, comes out, how much fog or haze comes out, or how fast the fans push it out. Uh, for that, I would wanna go into the timer and then I can choose the interval and duration. So, I mean, really it's gonna be all the same, so that wasn't too big of a deal. Also, it is kinda of nice having that manual mode as well, especially if you're not doing a homecoming, maybe you're using it for atmospherics for a play or a concert or something, and you gotta have it right at the right time. There is no DMX control on this, but when you see the price of the Fog Fury face, you'll understand that a few things had to be given up to come up with a good price and not having DMX to save me a couple hundred dollars, I'm okay with that, honestly. The remote, of course, just like most remotes that ADJ has released, does have the little magnet on the back so it can stick either to the machine itself or if I have, you know, metal plate or something next to my console, uh, you know, like by the side of my table, I can usually put it on there. So it's pretty easy. As far as gym coverage, now, I don't know about your high school gym, but here we have some pretty large high school gyms. I would say in less than 10 minutes, the entire gym was filled. And again, we ran it on continuous for most of our homecomings, if not all of them. And it just ran nonstop, no problems there. It kept the gym nice and full. So one of my DJs that I sent this with, you know, he didn't know that we had switched brands or anything like that. He just knew that he got a different machine, but didn't know the difference. Uh, and I, I did that because I wanted to tell me the honest truth. So I sent him an email afterwards. I'm like, okay, so what did you think about this one versus our big Mac Daddy hazers that we have? And you know, our multi thousand dollar hazers. And he's like, you know, I couldn't tell a difference from that end. He goes, it filled up the gym fast. It kept the place nice and fogged. Uh, the client certainly didn't notice and the live show looked great. And that's really what matters. You know, and when you compare A and B, obviously there are gonna be some differences, of course. With this being fog fluid, that's being turned into a haze type particle, obviously it's still gonna be a little bit thicker than your traditional haze machine. But is your client gonna notice that? Well, that's on you to decide. But what I do know is when I'm running lasers, when I'm running lights, I need a good, strong particle that hangs in the air, doesn't cost me an arm and a leg, the fog fury phase is definitely it. Another nice thing about it is that unlike other specialized fog machines or haze machines, I can't go to, to Guitar Center or Sam Ash because nine out of 10, they don't carry that. So I got a special order that fluid in. With the fog fury phase, I can go to any of the big box retailers and I know they have the fluids. So if I need any last minute, it's much easier to pick up. Again, we've been using this. It hasn't been in the case. It's been used, abused. It's it's toured with four schools only for our local for Hoko homecoming season. And I gotta say, I am pleasantly surprised. Honestly, for the price, I know that you will too. Now you may already have hazers like I do. You may say, you know what? I don't need another hazer, but I need some backups. This is a great backup unit. Heck, this is a great primary unit. And honestly, for the places where I can't use the big hazers because it fills up the room too fast, too quick because of the output, this guy is going to do great. Now it's rated a thousand cubic feet a minute, but again, there's so many different variables, especially whether the HVAC system adapt gym or Venny likes you or not. All I know is this thing worked. It worked for a homecomings. It worked for my multi-thousand dollar homecomings. I know it's gonna work for you and you're gonna absolutely love it. Again, the Far Fury face. My name's Arnold Wafferman with Master School Dances. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.